There are some pretty amazing things in nature if you take the time to look out for them. I'm here with Kristen Gilpin, who has been here with Mosey at Bioworks for almost 14 years. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. So here at Bioworks, what are the different elements and places where people can learn about butterflies? Well, the main area we have is our flight encounter, which is an area that's a free flight encounter where you can meet butterflies and get up nice and close to them. We have our classroom where we hold both classes and you can rent it for special events. We have our pond and then we have several acres of outside butterfly gardens as well. In the pond, do you have any other species of animals? We sure do. We have turtles and we have fish. So we've got some pretty cool stuff in there as well. And in here, when we're in the flight encounter, where's the best place to look for butterflies? The best place to look for butterflies is almost always up. Butterflies like to hang out up by the ceiling. You'll see them often hanging out on the roof, and you'll see them settle down on plants as well. And who's your little friend here? This is a polyphemus moth. He's not a butterfly, but he is pretty cool. They're a fairly fancy species of moth. The moth, once it hatches from its cocoon, will be about five inches across. And the adult moth doesn't have a mouth. They actually subsist entirely on food they consumed as a caterpillar. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> neat. So here in the fly encounter, how do you choose which butterflies come in here? Well, we actually make that choice really simple by only selecting butterflies that are native to west central Florida. So these are butterflies that if you're in the Tampa Bay area, you can attract your own backyard just by installing your own butterfly garden. Cool, and so how do you grow these butterflies, or do you get them from somewhere? We actually raise all of our butterfly species here on site. We do collect eggs from inside this encounter and also outside from the gardens and our backwoods. Um, we do have a couple other butterfly growers in the area that we trade eggs with now and again, but for the most part, we grow them all here on site. And going back to the butterfly gardens, if someone wanted to plant one in their own house, what would you recommend, like what kind of plants? Well, butterfly gardens rely on two different types of plants. Host plants, which butterflies use to lay their eggs on and their caterpillars will eat. And then nectar plants, which adult butterflies feed from, those are the ones with flowers on them. So for a good butterfly garden, you need both of those. Now, host plants are very specific, so each type of butterfly you want to attract will have a different type of host plant. And how will it vary between seasons? Well, between seasons, you'll see different types of butterflies. There are species you'll only see in the spring that you'd never see in the summer or the winter. So each time of the year, you can actually put in different plants to get different butterflies to visit your garden. There's so many amazing components here. You can see a butterfly from when it starts from caterpillar to chrysalis and then to the final product. Where can people go to further their interest? Well, they can come visit us here at Mosey. Mosey Outside is open 365 days a year. So even on Christmas, before you sit down to dinner, you can come hang out with us and our bugs. Or if you would rather visit us online, we have a blog and a Mosey Outside section on our website. You can also find us on Mosey Outside on Facebook. Thank you so much for sharing this all with us. I mean, just seeing the life cycle of butterfly, it's amazing how something like that can grow up to be a moth. It is. So. I know that I'm still interested, so didn't you see there's some eggs? Yeah, let's go check those out. Sasha, I'm not done exploring. I'm excited about this. Back to you.